They're all just killing themselves. This is easy. Come on, guys. Over here. Come on. <laughs> yes! Uh, that's the kind of zombie I like. The kind I don't have to kill. Hey, guys, and welcome back to Outbreak, uh, Outbreak 2. I, again, I don't know if I'm getting close to the end of this map or, or not. I hope I'm getting close to the end here, you know, you know but, uh, a ladder's probably important. Oh, ladder. But, uh, anyways, where was I going with this? I think I was going somewhere. Anyways, I'm actually recording this. Ooh, another ladder. Well, this is easy. I'm actually recording this on Halloween, and I think this is going to go out on Tuesday. So I've actually done pretty good at uh, starting to create a backlog of, uh, like, the first time ever. I'm finally creating a backlog. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, I really want to thank you guys for all the outpouring of support so far on this series. Uh, this is very quickly turning into... Definitely one of my most like requested series to keep working on. So that's been pretty sweet. I hear other zombies, but I don't know... Where do I go now? Do I need to get up into that building? Oh, hey, here we go. Nada. Nothing. Nothing. How strange. I need to try and make a jump or something? Is that it? Nope, oh, that jump can't be made, or can it? <laughs> what am I doing at, at this point? I don't even know what I'm doing. What I'm so disorganized right now. My thoughts are like all over the place. Why can I not form a coherent sentence? Okay, what? Okay, hang on. So I'm trying to find ladders right now. There we go. I try to. F I'm trying to find ladders right now. Also, they're zombies. That one's wearing armor. Let's hit. I feel like that one's going to take forever to... I say that one's going to take forever to get through as I kill him in, like, the next shot. <laughs> Nailed him. Oh, I don't like that. Let's not go that way. Right, so there's the chest. Wait, can I only go that way? Oh, I get it. It's a parkour puzzle. You think I'd be used to parkour the fact that everything is parkour at this at this point in the map. You know, it's really on me for not like expecting expecting parkour. Well, this is kind of a this is kind of a neat little puzzle. Yeah, so far I'm I'm really loving the outpour support or outpouring of support that I've gotten on this series. Uh, as I said, this has been a one of the more requested series for me to like finish, which has been awesome. And the uh, and shit, I gained like 11 subscribers from this series in like, or I gained like 11 subscribers in like three days, which is absolutely unheard of for me. I guess the chant of, you know, support small, support small YouTube is, you know, working, you know, and uh, as an obli obligatory reminder, you know, if you're not subscribed, you know, please do so. Leave a like on the video. It lets me know that uh, you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out here. At least I'm putting out the kind of content you guys want to watch. Oh, I must have to go down. Damn. All right, big jump. Nailed it. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna go this way. 
so right now the current objective why do i say i say so so much so right now my current objective is to get to the is to get to the docks why do i have this firestone Lots of chicken, some pork, some... Let's start eating through some of this cooked pork chop. Oop. Thank goodness I built, like, a beefy... I have a, be a beefy enough rig for this kind of, like, area. I feel like lava would just bog down a, anything less of, slight, short of a potato. I'm checking furnaces because, with my luck, there's something in there, in these. I'll feel better knowing that I at least checked them and there was nothing in them. Okay, where am I supposed to go? So I exited this part of the building. Am I supposed to go, oh, I must need to go here. Okay. But yeah, so far I'm absolutely loving this map. And, uh, oh, and uh, I think I said it earlier, but... Um, yeah, happy Halloween. Uh, this is, uh, well, you'll be seeing this on Tuesday, but for me, it's actually Halloween. As I said, I think I said a little bit earlier, I am, uh, I have managed to work ahead and get a little bit of a recording back full of at least one or two days. Uh, it's not the most amount of time, but... Shoot. Oh. I don't even think my character even jumped there. Like, just ran right off. Thank you. I know I tried to swim in lava. And now I have to complete this whole parkour all over again. Darn it. I mean, come on. You saw all the stuff I managed to get through there. You're going to make me go all the way back to the beginning? Sad. It's like my character didn't even try to jump that. Like, I swear I hit the space, but he, like, like it didn't do anything. There it did again! I swear I hit space. I swear I hit space! That is crap. I hit the space bar that time. I know I hit the space bar that time. I don't get it. Why am I... Why is he not making... Why is he not doing the jump? That's total baloney. Total malarkey. I have complaints. I am not this bad at Minecraft. Well, I'm terrible at I'm terrible at parkour. I am not generally bad at Minecraft. I just don't know any of the newer mechanics, that's all. I'm a Minecraft veteran-ish. Uh, I, I started in my junior year of high school with uh, Minecraft version 1.2.5. I was on a I was on a server. One of my buddies actually got me into Minecraft. Oh my gosh. Maybe there is something wrong with me. No. Something's not hitting. There we go. Finally. Okay. Where do I go now? There's a chest over there. I don't think there's anything for me over there. Nope. Let's just get out of here. Oh, shoot. I am in a position where I am not ready for zombies. <laughs> okay. I think I'm safe. Alright. He's pretty much dead. Oh. Finally, some good news. They're all just killing themselves. This is easy! Come on, guys. Over here. Come on. <laughs> yes! Uh, that's the kind of zombie I like. The kind I don't have to kill. Huh. Alright, where the hell am I? <laughs> I can't believe it. The zombie just, like, noped right into the lava. Oh, that's funny. Oh, finally, a... I swear I'm hitting space, but it's not like registering sometimes. 
<laughs> I'd better register here. Whew. My, heart's palp my heart is palpitating a little bit from that. Nope. There's definitely a lot. Are you kidding me? I swear I hit the space bar. I'm clicking the wrong spot. At least it put me in a decent spot. So I'm not able to go over that way yet. Weird. I'm like... I don't know. It's like the space bar is kind of responding. I really hope this keyboard isn't going bad already. I think... Uh, so when I ordered this keyboard... Oh, wow. When I ordered this keyboard, I accidentally ordered the wrong switches, which is why it makes so much noise on recording. And I'm, and I'm really sorry about that, but there's nothing that I can do. I unfortunately have better things to spend my money on right now than a new mechanical keyboard that doesn't make noise. I would absolutely love one with one of the silent keys, but unfortunately that's just not financially feasible at this current juncture. Uh, <laughs> I, I do kind of miss in truth, living when I lived with my parents and I could afford things again. Oof. If that were the case, I would give this keyboard to my brother and I would just for like kind of re-gift it for like his birthday or something or Christmas because I know he's... Where am I going now? Oh, I'm going over there. I would re-gift it to my brother or something and uh, I'd definitely get one with... Uh, uh, quiet, quiet keys. Shoot. I was too casual about that. Yeah, I'm, I love the brand. I'm using the, uh, I'm using a Corsair mechanical keyboard with the, I think it's, let me take off, I'm not going to take off my enter key. I think it's the blue switches. Um, I did my research and it said like a lot of gamers were switching over to these blue switches. I didn't realize that the blue switches weren't silent. My old one was, uh, they were the cherry red, or they were red switches. Oh, shoot. I like hovered there for a second. Anyways, I got my old mechanical keyboard on, so on my earlier videos, you won't hear anything because I was using a... Uh, at a cherry red mechanical keyboard it was soup another Corsair it was like it was the uh, the series below what I'm using now oh I needed to run that and I absolutely love Corsair stuff uh, the keyboard lasted me shoot like over five years before you know the keys finally started to go before the switches started to go. There we go. That's before the switches finally started to go. All right, let's map out. Where am I going? I'm going up and over that way. Okay. Nice. But yeah, super love the... Uh, I love Corsair's, uh, Corsair's keyboards. Corsair makes really good stuff. Um, if you're looking for a recommendation as far as just, like, mice, keyboard, things like that, uh, I am a definitely a... No! No! I gotta do this all over again? Ah, uh, Crap. Well, anyways, I am definitely a... I love the Corsair. I love the Corsair keyboards. Super high quality. I'm not sponsored, by the way. This is, like, coming from the heart. I don't use any of the macros or any of the special lighting. Well, I use the... I do use some lighting effect. Depends on if I have to impress people or not, to be completely honest. Nice. But I can do all kinds of different lighting effects. I can set up... I can set up macros if I want. It's really, really... It's a really good keyboard. It has a shit ton of functionality that I'm not really taking advantage of. I wish I knew more about setting up 
macros properly or doing different lighting settings. Uh, so I could, or if I had a reason to even use macros, um, I don't really play many games that require the use of me knowing how to use a macro. Uh, I guess I play League. Don't tell anybody I said that. Don't tell anybody that I play League of Legends. I don't. I. I. I, I don't want to get beat up. Nice. So if I miss this, how screwed? Am I? If I miss this jump, how screwed am I? Well, I guess we'll never know. But uh, you know, I don't really play like World of Warcraft or other games that really require the use of macros. But this keyboard is certainly capable of that. It's the coolest thing about it is it has a volume bar on it from my. Uh, well, I say the coolest thing about it is that it has a volume bar on it for, uh... is this the right way? Well, let's hope. For my uh, for my computer audio, uh, my headset also has one on the uh, on the back of it. Wait, whoa, what happened? Did I hit a invisible wall? I must have hit an invisible wall. It's the one thing I don't like about this map is. The barriers that they use to that he that the creator uses to prevent you from going anything are invisible walls, which, as you've probably just seen, can almost land you dead. Shoot. Shoot, why am I running weird? Oh crap. Whoa, that was Oh no, it spawned me back on this side. Shoot. I don't want to be on this side. Shoot, now the son of a gun got me on fire. I saved the chicken! I'm a good person. Wait. Huh, that was a weird jump. Well, I made it, so I guess it doesn't really matter how weird it was. No, I am not dying here. Yeah, I'm not dying here. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Except that I'm on fire. But uh, I, was, I, I love the Corsair keyboard. I'm using a Logitech uh, wireless headset, and I'm not super pleased with it. Um, I, I did a bunch of traveling with it with uh, with the COVID and back and forth from work and like a case and everything and it it really didn't stand up to the travel super nicely. Uh, it's one of their shoot, it's one of their good uh, gaming ones. Uh, got the LEDs, can do different lighting profiles with it, macros and everything. Uh, it's wireless. I'm not super happy. This is already like the second one I've gone through in like four years. So it's. For what I paid for it, it should be lasting longer than two years. Uh, this one's current problem is that the mic is starting to go. It uh, it pops and crackles and stuff really bad. I have to like adjust it a whole bunch for it to stop. And uh, as is tradition with most things, they don't make it so that you can fix it. Which is uh, something I don't like. Where the hell is it taking me? Am I anywhere close to being done with this? Ow. Oh! Alrighty then, now we're talking. Looks like we just stepped up my A game. I was wondering when I would get a, a better sword. Oh, I was actually supposed to go across here. Okay. Oh! What just broke? My helmet broke. Shoot. I did not see the gap. 
I didn't realize my helmet was that close to breaking. Otherwise, I would have never... Otherwise, I wouldn't have, like, tossed all the available ones that I had. Wait, did you see that? I stopped running there. Why did I stop running? You know, whatever. Hopefully it re... Mm! You kidding me? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm already past the... Oh, man... My, my dude stopped running, and I don't know why. That's crap. I didn't tell him to stop running. Hunger and everything was fine. That's crap. That's total crap. Oh, man. I think maybe this map is a little bit too much parkour. So speaking of the map, enough about like things that uh, thing about the my many purchases and the many goods that I own. I'm really starting to think that this map has too much parkour. I mean, I like parkour as much as the next person, but I think for being like an adventure map. Wait, where am I going from here? I'm thinking I'm going here. There we go. I I think there's too much parkour. That's just me. I could be completely off base, but I, I'm starting to think there's. Son of a gun. Yeah, I'm really starting to think there's just way too much parkour in this map. Like, I think this level has been nothing but parkour. Shoot, I stopped running again. Why did I stop running? Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Why did I stop running? But you all saw that. I, my character stopped running. Why? What caused them to stop running? It's definitely not my keyboard. There's something in game that's stopping me right there from running. I'm gonna have to be a lot. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and be more attentive this time. So that is not a hard jump to make. So I don't know why it's. Why is why am I why do I stop running right there? That's total crap. That's horseshit. I should not stop running right there. It's like I stop running for no reason too. There we go. Finally. Now should come the next zombie horde, I would imagine. There's a wide open area here. I feel like they're missing an opportunity to ambush me with a zombie. With the, zomb with the next zombie horde. Is this the six? Is this the seven? Okay. Well, at least this jump looked like it's easy enough. Thank you. I needed that. I needed that confidence booster. Oh, come on. Not even that the zombies that are killing me, it's the tall grass that's blocking my shot. Let me get over here where there seems to be a little less. Right, I'm gonna put this one in my offhand for those special zombies. Thing over here, nope. So what's this? Oh, it's a jump. Whew. I was not feeling at all confident about that jump. My confidence in my parkour has been shook this episode. 
before you know before this episode i'd say i was a solid b when it came to parkour now i'm my confidence in myself has been absolutely shook i'm gonna blame the game i'm not gonna blame myself it's the game's fault that i suck All right, that wasn't too bad. Seriously, though, I gotta be getting to, like, the end of this map. So I definitely, I definitely like the map, but I think I definitely have some, uh, some criticisms, some different things I would have liked, I would have liked to have seen. Uh, yes. Where am I going? Did I go the wrong way? No, there's no way. Everything led me here. How do I get into the... Oh, I get into the building here. I stopped running there again. Why? Why? Oh, God. Geronimo! Oh! Oh, whoa, what's this? Oh. You know I'm just gonna let myself... Thank you. Where did it spawn me? All the way back here? Are you kidding me? For all that shit I went through, you have the audacity to spawn me back here? Come on! Okay. That's another criticism I have, is where the, where the respawns are. I mean, I get that it, this is, at this point, this is parkour, and you should definitely, you know, go back a little bit, but I got through a lot of map there for... So, what I, if, and I had the same criticism, I think, for the last map, you know, I've proven that I can get through this. This is easy. It's when you pull that weird shit with, like, chains or... There should be, like, a respawn point before, like, the super uh, tough parts of the of the map. Like, that chain puzzle. Like, that's going to be tough to get through. There should be, like, you should respawn right before that. That and, like, the slime jump, too. Oof. I ran when I shouldn't have. That's on me. I stopped running there again. Yeah, do you see this puzzle? Like, this is going to be super tough to do. Alright. You see what I mean? Like, this is going to be super tough to do. And it's going to... And the game's going to punish me super hard for it. Like... Things like that, where... A parkour puzzle it has, like, a needlessly difficult respawn point I don't like. Like, I have to get through all this map again to try. Like I said, I if there's going to be, like, a tough part of the parkour portion or, like, a super tough portion of the map, uh, like, that, that chain puzzle is definitely going to be tough. Like, the respawn sh point should be, like, just before that. Now i got to waste extra time going through this when I stopped running there weird like I don't like this this is like inconvenient for the sake of being inconvenient especially that slime puzzle like this is not I say as I've made it every single time like Oh, I actually kind of made that. All right. <laughs> Ooh, netherite boots. Oh, enchanted golden apples. Nice. Okay, and a netherite axe. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to... Fresh chest plate, fresh that. You know what? Throw on the fresh boots. Yeah, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. 
bow's fine. Yep, 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 yep. Get rid of the worn. No, wait, no, keep the iron sword. So, uh, now where do I go? Wait, do I even have to do that chain puzzle? Wait a second. Shoot. Please tell me there's a ladder or something. Did I even have to do that chain? I don't think I had to do that chain portion. I didn't actually have to do that chain portion. Never mind, I take back all my criticism. I was doing... I didn't realize that that wasn't necessary. Never mind. The map creator is being perfectly fair with the spot point. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I swear, some days I'm an idiot. How much longer do, does this map last? Yeah, never mind. I take back my last five minutes of criticism and, like, a and possible rage because it was... As with most things, it was me being a moron. Because I didn't need to do that whole chain puzzle this whole time. Actually, I'm really happy that I did because, you know, getting a, a redo on, a, or getting some, a clothing refresh is super nice. Yep, I didn't actually need to do that. <sighs> Come on, boys. We've already done this before. We know exactly how this is going to end. All right, fine. Oh, you're just out of range. Shoot. Well, I guess we might not know how this goes. Okay. Well, let's... Well, I think those boys are stuck, so I'm going to get to getting while the getting's still good then. Yeah, I'm going to get the hell out of here while I still can. How long have I been going through this city looking for the docks? We've got to be getting close to the end by this point, you'd, you'd think. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's cute. Oh, chest. That's actually, this is actually a real cute little, I like that. That's a cute Easter egg. And it looks like this is actually kind of a tough one to do, so I hope this reward at the end is uh, well worth it. Shoot. Oh, man, I got a, about an hour before trick-or-treaters are going to start showing up by me. So I can hope I can get this all... Oh, very well worth it. So the netherite sword, eight damage versus seven. So let's basically move everything down one. Uh, boots, I'm good. A helmet, that's nice. Uh, I don't think I need the refresh on the chest plate. I'll hold on to this. Very well worth it. Very, very well worth it. I don't get it. Where am I supposed to go here? So that jump is not possible. That is not a possible jump. Where is it? Nope, not a possible jump. I don't think there's anything down here for me either. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do here now. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. 
And I hear zombies, which is probably the worst part. The worst news I've gotten all day. So I am stuck. I don't know where to go. And there's zombies. Shoot, it's the... We're dual-wieldy ones. Okay. Well, I managed to fight one. I just doomed one. Oh. Oh, good. These despawned. I think I can lure most of them into lava and only have to fight a couple of them at a time. I think that's what I can do here. Let's see if their pathing's stupid. Yes, their pathing is very stupid. Well, those couple figured it out. Where did those guys come from? Oh, they came from over there. In fact, they're still coming from over there. So I'm stuck here with respawning zombies, with mass respawning tough zombies, and I don't know if that jump is possible or not. Oh, don't you dare knock me down. It's my job to knock you assholes down. Nope, don't stop running. Nope, that jump is not makeable. And I'm in the water with zombies. Exactly what I want to be doing today. So I don't know where to go, and that bothers me. Fortunately, it doesn't look like zombies can swim. So at least there's some good news today. Unless I was never supposed to be able to make that. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's hoping I don't drown. Oh, nice. I didn't. So I was never supposed to be able to make that jump. That was the whole point. Take every breath where I can. All right, so then this way? Am I any closer to my desti final destination now? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. And that bothers me. Let me get out of the water here and reassess what the hell is even going on. So it appears as though I'm in a... Like a... Storage room of some kind. And I'm definitely supposed to be here, but... Oh, I see where I'm supposed to go. Two ladders. That's awesome. Oh. 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 Okay. I am completely intended to make that jump. Oh my god. It's... The Drowned, I think, is what those are called? I think those are called The Drowned. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot. Oh, <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby, that was almost real bad. Real, real bad. I think this is the way. Oh, we're really into the thick of it now. Okay, this episode is basically 40 minutes long. I'm... I wonder if I'm close. I wonder how close I am to being done. I'm going to explore around here real quick. 
make sure there's nothing here that I need. This looks like the way forward. No, it isn't. So the way forward is over here. I wonder if I can sneak through these chains. Oh, I can. <gasps> the dock? And I... Is it finally over? Was that it? Am I, I'm done? There's the boat. Holy cow. Eh. The boat. It's the boat. Oh my gosh, we finished it. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Thousand times yes. Thanks for playing. Outbreak 2. Oh, all right. That feels good. Wow. I guess... Outbreak 3, the island. Uh, it means a lot to me knowing I've created a map that people hopefully enjoyed. Work on the final Outbreak 3 will begin in January 2022 and will be the last map I make. Hope to see you soon. Thank you for playing and supporting my content. Oh, my. All right, so slash game mode creative. All right, so... I'm gonna first escape the box here. And grab a screenshot of that. Or, uh... All right, so... Or is this an even better screenshot? Actually, this might be the screenshot right here. F2. All right, so uh, let's get my final thoughts here on the map. So overall, I'm going to give this rate. I'm going to give this map a rating of seven infested swarms out of a possible ten infested swarms. Now, I I do have some. So let's say the good things first. Overall, this was a pretty sweet map. Um, I like the concept of the abandoned city. You're trying to escape. Uh, the, there's a continuation of a story. The author clearly had a story in mind. And the maps were cool. The idea of the infested swarming you and there actually even being swarm set up was awesome. I loved that concept. Uh, I think the builds would have been more impressive if I would have had the, the, uh, the mod pack installed or the texture pack installed. So when I said earlier in the series that the, that the, uh, that the map was just missing that little bit of something, that little bit of personality to have made it great, that was because I didn't have the mod pack or the texture pack installed. So I can't even ding it on that. So the builds, absolute 10 out of 10. Uh, challenging, it, I did get lost and confused and I did have trouble engaging with the map at times. Uh, the beginning was kind of, the beginning I wasn't having a lot of fun, but then once we got into like the middle of the map where we entered the open world portion, I started to have more. I started to have a little bit more fun, but then towards the end there, I it kind of dipped for me. So it definitely spiked in the middle of the map, and the fun kind of dipped at the end there for me. So that's why it's getting a seven out of ten. There was, I think, there was too long a stretch of just parkour, fight, parkour, fight, parkour, explore. I think there were too long a stretches of that. There was no story to break to uh, to break up the monotony. There was no. Uh, you know, there was no, like, cutscenes in between. It was just monotonous go puzzle, 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 parkour, parkour, parkour. So, for me, you know, it was a little bit slow of a burn. The middle was pretty good, but then it became monotonous and kind of a chore to get through the back half of it. So, because, because of that, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Still a really, really good map, and I would strongly encourage 
and I would very strongly encourage you guys to to go out to go and play this map. Definitely a lot of fun. I definitely skipped a lot of exploring and stuff. So, because you know, for me, I want to get the map. I want to get through the map and be done. I don't want this. I don't want a, a series to get uh, stale. I don't want a, a series to become stale because I play it too long. But uh, overall, I would say this was a very, very well, a very well done map. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, I really do look forward to playing the uh, the creators' uh, next map. I I will play Outbreak Three when uh, when that happens. I feel like I am emotionally involved now in whatever happens to whatever my character is. Uh, definitely, definitely excited to see. Uh, Definitely excited to see what happens in the next map. But yeah, uh, 7 out of 10, really good uh, good map. Uh, just some stuff, either the story needs to be more concise or there needs to be stuff to kind of break up the monotony of the uh, of the, of the map there. But uh, I would say the map creator created something really awesome. I'm super happy to have done this map, and I really want to thank you all for your support on the series. Again, this became one of my more requested series I'd ever done. And uh, as usual, if you guys have maps you'd like me to uh, to do in the future, please, by all means, let me know. But uh, until next time, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.